Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you integrate your Elementor contact form with the Google Sheet. Let me show you how does this work. On this demo website, I have one Elementor contact form installed here and I want to send all the data from this contact form to this Google Sheet. So whenever someone fills up this form, it will send the data automatically to this Google Sheet. So we are going to install a free plugin. Let me show you an example. I'm going to fill up this form. I'm going to add some dummy data here. And here we have some services. I'm going to select this one. Let's add some comments also. All right, and I'm going to click on the submit button. All right, so the form is submitted. If I go to the Google Sheet, you will see that the new entry is added automatically. You will see the name, phone number, email address, the type of service and the comment also. Now you can use this data from Google Sheet and create your own dashboard for the data analysis. So let's see how we can install a free plugin to send the Elementor contact form data into the Google Sheet. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor on this website. On the homepage, I have one Elementor form that I want to connect with the Google Sheet. I want to send all the data from this form to the Google Sheet. So I have selected this form. You will see the form here. And on this form, we have five different fields, the person name, phone, email, the type of service and comments. Now I'll go to google.com and I'm already logged into one of my Google accounts and I'm going to create a new Google Sheet. So here, go to Google Drive, click on new and go to Google Sheet. So we are going to create a new Google Sheet. Let's go to this Google Sheet and add a name to this Google Sheet. I'm going to name it as Elementor Form Data. So this is the name of the Google Sheet. At the top, we are going to add these five fields. So if I go to the first field, the name of the field is your name. So you will see the label here. So I'm going to select the same label from here. And I'm going to add that as the first header. Then go to the second one and add the label to the second column here. Let's add all the labels here. A, B, C, D, E, F. Go to comments. All right, so we have got five different labels here. So I'm going to style them. I'm going to change the style settings. All right, now let's go back to the dashboard here and we are going to add a plugin. So let's go to dashboard, click on plugins and go to add new plugins and search for a plugin Elementor form Google Sheet. And this is the plugin that we are going to install Elementor forms Google Sheet connector. So let's click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is activated. I'm going to skip this step. Now we are on the dashboard in the left-hand panel. You will see this option here under Elementor, Google Sheet Connector. Here you will see the first option. We need to integrate the Google Sheet with this WordPress website first. So there are two different options, use existing client or secret key or use the manual client and secret key. In the second option, you need to get the client and the secret key from the Google API configuration. So I'm going to select the first option, which is going to create the API automatically. So click save. Right now, here you will see the first option signing with your Google. So here, so here you need to select your Google account and click continue and let's select both the options see the information so we need to grant the permission here so that the plugin will be able to access the google sheet and the google drive click continue you will see the google access code is there click on save and authenticate 
All right, so it says that the email account is connected. If you want to deactivate, you can simply click on it and it will get deactivated. Now click on this option, click here to fetch the sheet details. So click on this option here, click here. All right, so it says fetch all sheet details. Now let's go to the contact form. Let me refresh it. Let's go to the contact form here. And here you will see an option actions after submit. So this is the option where you can set the new action. So click on it. Right now there are two actions already collect submission and email the submission. Click on the plus sign and select the option here G sheet connector. And you will get that option added here. Click on it. Select the sheet name. So I'm going to select that name Elementor form data. You will see it here. We have created this new Google sheet. So we need to select that one and sheet one right now it is set to sheet one if you want to add multiple sheets you can create new sheet and change the names of the sheet so right now i have selected this one all right now click on view spreadsheet so this is the spreadsheet and the second option is spreadsheet fetching so it is going to fetch the data successfully fetched stay on the page click on update so here everything looks good. Now let's go to the website. Let me refresh the page and let's try to submit the form. So here I'm going to add some details, name. Let's add phone number here, email. And I'm going to select one service here and the comment will be, let's say, testing the form integration and click on get a quote this is the name on the button all right so it says your submission failed because of server error all right this may be because i'm using the insta wp dashboard to create the wordpress website so this is basically a testing server this is one of the platform where you can create wordpress website for testing and for the demo purpose so that's why it is giving me this error your submission failed however let's go to the google sheet and let's see if we can get the details so i'm on the google sheet and here you can see that the form data is already added to the google sheet so it is working properly the server error here is just because of the platform that i'm using for this demo website right and let's select all the tables and center align them all right so this one looks good if you want to freeze the first row you can freeze that one freeze one row so it will be always freeze there so let's test this form again i'm going to add another user here let's change the name email address and the service and let's click on the submit button again i'll again get the same error i guess however if i go to the google sheet you will see that the new entry is added automatically in the google sheet so this is how you can use this free plugin to integrate the Elementor form with the Google Sheet. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.